What is up, Budget Bug Out? Marty. Hey, Marty. Marty. What's up, buddy? What's up, dude? Miss you, dude. We just want to say hi. We we'll miss you at Shout Show. And also, thank you for your service. Yeah, thank you for it's serving, bro. A big, big deal. We know you can't be here because of your serving. And so we are thankful that we have the opportunity to be here in this country doing what we do because there's people like you yeah. doing what you do. So big shout out to you. Budget Bug Out on YouTube. Check them out, all the social media. We'll see you later. Peace. Later, Marty. One of the questions I'm getting asked a lot at the moment is what are my opinions on the knives that were just unveiled this past week at SHOT Show 2018? And for those of you who don't know what SHOT Show is, the way that I explain it is that it's basically the Detroit Auto Show of the gun, knife, and gear community because it's where companies showcase the new products that they will be bringing to the market in the coming year. Now, this year's SHOT Show experience was a lot different for me because I had to remain in place due to military obligations. So I appreciate that shout out from my YouTube brethren and I do plan on attending Blade Show later this year. So I'll see any of you who plan on attending that event in June. So without further ado, let's cover the top five knives announced during SHOT Show 2018 and be sure to leave a comment on which knives or gear that you are most looking forward to purchasing in the coming months. For this list, I'm listening to viewer feedback and sticking to affordable products, even though I loved what I saw from companies like Spyderco and their Bowie knife, as shown through this late Boy Scout video, as well as what Tim from Everyday Tactical Vids shared on his Instagram from the Tops Knives booth. But none of the knives in this video are going to be even close to the $200 range that those knives are going to be at. And in fact, most of the knives that will be going through this video are already in my pre-order cart. So stay tuned to not just my channel for reviews on these products as they come out, but also follow KnifeNews.com for daily coverage on everything new and exciting in the knife world. Let's begin with the most expensive knife on this list, which is the Kershaw Quad 7 Bare Knuckle Flipper Knife. Now I use the word expensive only as a way to compare it to the other knives on this list and not as a knock against its value because the Quad 7 is based on the award winning limited run zero tolerance zero triple seven which retailed at around $500 before it quickly sold out everywhere. The Kershaw Quad 7, on the other hand, is $69, yet it still remains faithful to the original zero-tolerance design, including its famous sublock frame. However, this manual flipper has a blade length of 3.5 inches with Sandvik 14 C28N stainless steel, KTV ball bearing pivot system, aluminum handles, and it weighs 3.5 ounces. It's also made in the USA. Before I move on to the next knife on my list, I think it's worth mentioning that if you want an even more budget-friendly version of the ZT-0777, then be sure to check out the Natrix flippers from Kershaw, which will soon come with a carbon fiber-handled version as well as a copper-handled one with D2 blade steel. The Natrix knives are made in China, but they have the same pivot system as the Quad 7, as well as the same sublock design. The second knife that intrigues me is the Intrigue from Steel Wheel Knives. See what I did there? After watching this video from the late Boy Scout, I learned that there are four versions of the Intrigue. There is a higher-end Italian version, as well as a budget-friendly version made in China, Additionally, there is a large and a smaller version of each model. The budget-friendly versions will retail between $50 and $45, while the Italian versions with higher-end materials will be around two to three times that. If you're interested in the budget-friendly versions, the knife is made with D2 blade steel and an FRN handle. And although they don't have a ball bearing pivot, it appears that it is a very smooth design with a modern look and feel. The third knife on this list is the SE Pinch Mini Survival Knife. I'm assuming that it's called the Pinch due to it being used only as a last resort 
or in a pinch, as they say. But I don't know too much about this knife other than it's designed by James Gibson, uh, this guy right here, who does seem to know a good bit about knives, especially when it comes to how to maintain them as well as utilize them whilst in the great outdoors. The only other thing that I found on this knife as of now is a short bit that was stated by Essie as seen in this video from Everyday Tactical Vids. Pinch, he designed that so it could fit like an Altoid Type 10. Just something where you needed some type of utility blade, you'd have a, a small sharp blade that would be there when you need it. The next knife is the CRKT Terrestrial. The more I see about this flipper knife, the more that I like it. I did a video not long ago talking about the knives that I'm most looking forward to being released in 2018. And while I'm in the process of acquiring and reviewing all five of those knives, including the Kook from CRKT, I didn't list the Terrestrial on that list. However, now I'm thinking that the CRKT might not only have the Kook as a best-selling fixed blade knife, but also the Terrestrial as a best-selling folding knife. The Terrestrial has a blade length of 3.3 inches. It's a manual flipper with an IKBS ball bearing system, 5 CR15 MOV blade steel, G10 handles, 4.3 ounces, and is made in China at the price of $38.95. The last knife on my list wasn't announced at the SHOT Show event, but I didn't want it to fall off the radar, and that is the Cold Steel Luzin. Now, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but the Luzin is a flipper knife that comes in a medium size with a 4-inch blade, as well as a large version with a 6-inch blade. Of course, I want the impractically larger version, which will be selling at $38, while the 4-inch bladed version will be selling at only $29. The Luzin is made with 8 CR13 MOV steel, GFN handles, has an overall length of 13 and a half inches when open, and weighs a whopping 9.8 ounces, making it a big old knife. The Luzon is named after the largest island in the Philippines and was inspired by Filipino balasongs. It uses a spring assist as well as a patent pending safety lock. The country of origin is unknown at the moment but it's probably Taiwan like a lot of other cold steel knives or it's from China. Well guys, I hope this video gave you guys some insight on what is out there on the horizon for 2018. Some final thoughts that I wanted to leave you with is to buy the knives, guns, or gear that makes you happy. Everyone has their own opinions and their own needs when it comes to the gear that they want to purchase. But do what's best for you and your system. Feel free to comment down below what gear that you want to get this year in the comment section down below because I'd love to hear your feedback as well as learn about other products that I might not be aware of. Be sure to check out the links in the description box down below so that you can learn even more about the awesome gear coming to the market this year. And remember that it pays to be prepared. God bless.